All right, so this screen is looking at the actual returns month by month along with the standard deviation uh, for the particular portfolios we were just looking at. And here at the top, uh oh, let me go back. Okay, here at the top, what you're seeing is the score. It keeps moving, stop moving. All right, what you see here is the score um, for this particular. Uh, portfolio now how I've scored this is is I've taken the actual return okay and I've subtracted the standard deviation why did I do that because the standard deviation is how far up or down uh, this portfolio moves with the market and personally I don't like a lot of volatility I want my portfolio to stay within a small range of numbers I don't want to lose a lot I don't want to really gain a lot. I want to stay right in between that small range, okay? So what we have again, like I said, is the actual return minus the standard deviation of the portfolio, and that's the number you have here, okay? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for uh, the best performing uh, portfolio in our previous uh, screen which was the dividend beta and down portfolio so we're just gonna scroll through here and look for that portfolio I'm sure it's gonna be somewhere towards the end and we're gonna kinda look at some of these portfolios else as we go along like the standard deviations 11 percent that looks good uh, let's keep going here we have a lot of losses the reason why we are seeing a lot of negative numbers here is because remember um, a lot of times if you have a portfolio that performs really well is because the price goes up and down a lot okay and so when we take out the standard deviation uh, then we get a negative number sometimes so here's a uh, beta and standard deviation that gives us a 21 percent return uh, let's keep going here we're looking for dividend, beta, and down. Dividend, beta, alpha, dividend, beta, up. Here we go. Dividend, beta, and down. All right. And we see here that it actually gives us a 12.84% return once we subtract out our standard deviation okay and so what that means is that even though we get the highest return with this portfolio the price goes up and down a lot and the reason why that's so important is is because what happens let's say in the middle of the month when maybe I need some cash right and so I want to go into my retirement account I want to go into my portfolio and I want to take some cash out okay well guess what if the portfolio uh, price is really down at that point in time um, then I'm going to not have as much cash on hand because the portfolio cash balance is going to be very low right so even though I may get an overall better return for the year throughout the year that portfolio price is going to be way up it's going to be way down and what I want is I want consistency I want my portfolio to stay uh, within a certain amount at all times in case I need to go in and grab some cash for me that's just safety it's my safety blanket alright and so that's the rate this that's the way that I've scored these and so if we look at the highest return okay based on uh, return minus standard deviation what we're looking at is the 21 percent that I saw back here I believe that was the highest let's make sure so that's 19 and that's here we go yeah so here we go beta uh, and standard deviation and so what this is doing is it is taking the beta score okay and subtracting the standard deviation all right and these stocks because they are uh, very low in volatility very low in standard deviation but very high in beta they're giving us the best return for our money remember in the previous slide we talked about beta being calculated as the stock that performs the best when the market uh, is down 
right it may not perform the best when the market is up but it re but it performs the best when the market is down so in years in months in times that the market is down these stocks are, gonna, are going to perform the best all right but they also have a very low standard deviation that means a very low volatility which means they don't move a whole lot right which is why they perform so well when the market is down and this gives us uh, our best uh, performing portfolio uh, based on our standard deviation.